When I was a physics major at MIT, I was struggling with quantum mechanics, so I developed an interest in philosophy. And I had a very hard time with it because philosophy is very, very different from physics. Even though you need some philosophy if you're going to do deep things like invent new theories. So there were a few books that helped me to get started, and I just wanted to list them briefly. Bertrand Russell, The Problems of Philosophy. It's a little book, and it's one of the classics. This book is a good description of why you might care about philosophy. So it's a good starting point. Another truly excellent one that I haven't heard talked about much, Talking Philosophy, a word book by A.W. Sparks. This is great as a beginning for non-philosophers. It's where, how do you wade into here? It basically is explaining a few ideas, a lot of words. The guy freely admits that most philosophers would scream in horror, but the way you introduce an outsider is not the same way that the professionals do it. I found this invaluable. I must have read like 30 or 40 different philosophy texts, and something like two-thirds of all the value was in these two books. Likewise, I read many, many books about the philosophy of quantum mechanics. And Hans Reichenbach, who was actually one of Einstein's few students, did brilliant analyses of relativity in one book, and in this one, The Philosophic Foundations of Quantum Mechanics. Again, something like two-thirds of the value from all of those books was in here. I got a lot out of The Philosophy of Physics, Locality, Fields, Energy, and Mass by Mark Lang. Now, I wasn't so impressed with the reasoning, but the introductions and explanations of ideas fundamental to physics I found really interesting. There was like one chapter that was deep philosophy stuff I didn't get, but a lot of this was very good for a physics major. An author who's very important for philosophy of physics is T.W. Bridgman. He was around the same time as Einstein, and I forget who inspired who. Uh, he wrote a brilliant little book called Dimensional Analysis. It's basically the book on dimensional analysis. You wouldn't think it would warrant an entire book, but he manages to do a lot of interesting stuff. More to the point, he very much pushed this uh, philosophy of operationalism. It's like, you want to talk about this idea? Well, how do you measure it? How do you work with it? What do you, how do you think about it? P.W. Bridgman, several books, Dimensional Analysis, Nature of Some of Our Physical Concepts, and others. Very good author. Now for a modern one, Tim Maudlin. He has got a lot of good things to say. I was very impressed with quantum non-locality and relativity. He took the confusing question of, can things go faster than light, and split it up carefully. Can matter or energy do it? Can signals? Can causal processes? Can information? And he spends a book expanding and carefully analyzing these ideas. I was very impressed. This was one of the best breakdowns I've seen. You'll find if you look at philosophy that there is an awful lot of blather and the occasional very sharp mind. P.W. Bridgman, Hans Reichenbach, Tim Maudlin. This is the only philosopher who I eagerly look forward to his next book. Anyway, that's a place to get started if you're interested in physics and the deep foundations, including the philosophy of physics. That's just my perspective. I'm sure a philosophy major or a professional philosopher would have very different ideas. But that's what worked for me where I was coming from.